that many of the neon signs that light up in New York City and in mm. Tokyo, well, they're made right here, too. New tonight, 13 Inside Las Vegas reporter Dave Malkoff has a look at the science of a neon sign. These lights shine worldwide, the buzzing attraction of neon Vegas. I think people are drawn to it a lot like insects are drawn to light. The magic goes back to 1920. English immigrant Thomas Young had a vision, a vision of glowing signs. <laughs> Fast forward 82 years and the Young Electric Sign Factory here in Vegas has become one of the biggest and best in the business. This is only one division of nine. This is Steve Week's latest project, a giant next generation sign outside Caesars Palace. Because these signs are so large, we have to build them in sections. What you're seeing there is basically that part of the sign. So this is section five of 15. The pieces don't come together until they're ready. So they can go to the next process, which is having the skin put on and then the color. The skin is cut with a white hot plasma beam. It looks hot enough for me to stay away from. Last, they had thousands of tiny lights. Up close, it's nothing. Step back. Sheer magic. It's a factory full of neon experts, painters, electricians, and a woman who can bend glass in a circle. Like so, and I'm going to bend it all the way around so to illuminate it. I was kind of play with it a little bit before. <laughs> kind of get my concentration going. This is the end of the process on this one. Another guy adds the glowing gas. Uh, we use h gas, which is argon, is blue. <laughs> or we put neon in it, which will make a form of red in any tube. Once a neon sign is done, it will last for decades. These bulbs don't burn out. Tubes will last indefinitely. A pure Las Vegas art form, local creation, keeps on glowing. Las Vegas wouldn't be Las Vegas without neon. The Ginza Strip in Tokyo would not be the same without neon. I think you're gonna find that that will live on and carry the torch for neon in the future. Dave Malkoff, 13 Inside Las Vegas.